All right, so now let's do get these other two problems worked. So again, I need to set it equal to zero. And if y'all remember from last quarter, I always said that like Miss Edmondson quirk 1.3, I always like to leave my leading coefficient positive. And even when I'm doing the quadratic formula, like I always make my leading coefficient positive. So instead of bringing the 2x squared over, I'm going to instead choose to bring the 4x and the 1 over. So that gives me 2x squared minus 4x minus 1. So the A value is 2, the B value is negative 4, the C value is negative 1. I have written the quadratic formula down, and so now it's what we call plug and chug. So let's plug these numbers in. So that becomes 4, so B squared is 16 minus 4 times an A value of 2 times a C value of negative 1, all over 2 times 2. All right, now here comes the most common mistake made on the quadratic formula. So 4 times 2 is 8, so we got 8. But the most common mistake people make is they put 16 minus 8. But see these two negative signs makes it 16 plus 8 all over 4. So that's 4 plus or minus the square root of 24 all over 4. The square root of 24 breaks down into 2 square root of 6. And then we can do the little lovely three musketeers where we reduce them all by 2, and we get 2 plus or minus the square root of 6 all over 2. Now, most of your answers, you're going to be typing this exact answer in. There are a few problems where they said approximate to the nearest, like, tenth or hundredth. So... What you're going to do is you are going to get your calculator out and you're going to say 2 plus the square root of 6, hit enter and divide it by 2. And so you get 2.22. And then if you want to get fancy, you could go up and just hit enter and change that to a minus sign and then divide it by 2 and you get negative 0.22. So these are called approximate answers. You only give approximate answers when they specifically ask for approximate answers. I think nine out of the 10 problems, or maybe eight out of the 10 problems, they want the exact answers, which is the answer in the radical. All right, so let's work this guy. Um, something a little unusual is gonna happen here. Um, good news is it's set equal to 0, so a is 4, b is negative 4, c is 1. There's my quadratic formula. So that's going to be 4 plus or minus. So b squared is 16 minus 4 times an a value of 4 times a c value of 1, all over 2 times 4. So that's 4 plus or minus 16 minus 16, all over 8. So that's 4 plus or minus the square root of 0. Oh. So I want you to think like something unusual is about to happen. The square root of zero is zero. So the unusual thing that's about to happen is four plus zero over eight is four eighths, which is one half, and four minus zero over eight is four eighths, which is one half. So you get the same answer. So you get one answer. We call it a double solution. A half is a double solution, but we get the same answer twice. And leading to tomorrow's lesson, like why does that happen? Why did I only get one answer? Specifically because this guy is zero. And I'm going to give a name to this guy tomorrow. This guy's going to have this zero this 24 is going to have a name tomorrow, but so far it doesn't. Okay, so we've got these last two problems to work. Um, I'll see if I can get them in. David threw a baseball in the air. The function of the height is thrown, so here's my formula. T represents time, and um, it says how high will the ball go in 1.8 seconds? Well, see, up here, they told me that T represents time. And here, they told me 1.8 seconds. So that literally means that every place there's a T, I'm going to plug 1.8. So we have H of T equaling 80 
t minus 16t squared. So we're going to plug 1.8 in. So 80 times 1.8 minus 16 times 1.8 squared. So I'm just going to get my calculator out and let my calculator do all of that. So I'm going to say 80 times 1.8, close my parentheses, minus 16 times 1.8 squared. Hit enter, and I get 92.16 feet. Now they said 2.6 seconds. So now we're just going to plug 2.6 in. So it's going to be 80 times 2.6 minus 2.6 squared. So you could certainly just retype that all in your calculator, but I will show you a little trick that's going to be handy this quarter. You can up arrow, hit enter, and then just go and change the 1.8s to 2.6s. Oops. 2.6 and oh I did it again dang so I got to change that to 2.6 and so I get 99.84 so sorry my fingers in the way h of 2.6 is 99.84 feet all right next problem when will the ball hit the ground. Hit the ground is secret math talk for height equals zero. So we are going to plug zero in the place of the height. So zero equals 80t minus 16t squared. So how do we solve this? Well, I'm going to stop this video and we'll solve it in the last video of the day.